Structure Deck Machine Revolt was released on January 17, 2007. By this point, numerous other Structure Decks had already been released, but none of them had made quite the same impact as Machine Revolt. This Structure Deck introduced the Gadget Monsters, a series of machine monsters that search for one another when either normal or special summoned, allowing for a constant flow of resources and neutralizing a lot of opposing one-for-one -one removal. However, these weren't the only machine monsters revolting around this time, as one deck in particular started to surge into numerous top cut finishes at the competitive level. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mobius. Every week, exactly Mobius the Frost Monarch is keeping me in this stupid shirt. I thought we fought a war over this, folks. Oh my god, did the American Revolution mean nothing to Kazuki Takahashi? Oh boy. You know, it's not like even Simo is playing rogue decks that happen to contain monarchs. This is just the way Yu Gi Oh was in 2006. You were either playing Mobius, playing Zaborg, or losing to them, and folks, we have done a lot of that third category. However, that's all about to change. 2007 is gonna be my year, baby. Does Troop Dupe Scoop mean anything to you? What about Diamond Dude Turbo? Well, those are right on the horizon. All we have to do is suffer through one format where Alex can still pick Monarch. I know he's gonna make a beeline for that deck, but the other two decks on here are way more interesting. Chimera Tech is a Saki OTK deck that I'm sure he'd gravitate towards if he wasn't married to Mobius by now. And Gadget is one of the most powerful control decks ever conceived. The resource loop in this deck is insane, and I will take any opportunity to flex my massive intellectual advantage over Alex. So, rolling for Gadget, let's make it happen. First try, baby! Let's go! Now that we're all settled in into the new place, I have one simple objective. To keep the shirt of shame out of this room for as long as possible. If we can do that, I will consider it a success. But here we are once again, January 2007. I can't believe we're already up to 2007. It seems like Yu-Gi-Oh! is just flying by. But this is actually a very interesting time. We have the release of the Gadget Structure Deck as it is, and this actually changes quite a bit. We start to see a shift towards a more machine focused metagame as you can see by the wheel here. We only have three decks. There was one Shonen Jump Championship around this time and the top eight decks you were either playing Gadget, Monarch or as a matter of fact Chimera Tech. A lot of you guys in the comments of the previous section thought we were going to just completely pass up Chimera Tech but Chimera Tech actually played a very important role during this time and uh, there are a lot of decks for us to choose from if we end up spinning that. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been playing a lot of Monarch lately and as much much as I love OG Monarchs, I'm going to try to avoid this if I can, because I think we're going to continue to play more Monarchs in the future, so I'm aiming for either Gadget or Chimera Tech in this episode. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we get. We have a 66.7% chance to get what we want, so fingers crossed, let's hope it is not going to be Monarch this time. And it is, okay, I mean, we fortunately have a respin here, so we can use the respin. Luckily, we have it, because otherwise that would just be a nightmare. I think you guys are probably sick of me playing Monarch at this point, but... Well, we have one more respin. We have one final respin, and I'm going to go ahead and spin this a lot. What are the chances on that? That's got... Ugh, I don't even want to know, but it's fine. It's, it's not super unlikely to come up, and I swear if it happens for a third time, I'm going to be very upset, but it looks like... Oh, baby, we're playing some Chimera Tech. So here's the deck, and... 
I can't even giggle to myself for 40 minutes like normal. This is just a straight up well-reasoned deck. This is Chris Evans, not of Marvel fame, a 2007 Orlando SJ deck. He got top four with this and it's not hard to see why. It's very well put together. You may be balking at the idea of playing 45 cards, but historically gadget decks were willing to do that just because the math worked out based on the number of targets you were playing. There's some stuff in here that is a little bit crusty. Uh, the version of this deck I found online did not have a publish extra, so this overload fusion in the main may be problematic, but if it happens, we'll figure out a solution to it on the fly. I don't want to make assumptions about what they're playing, but likely it's over dragon and some associated cyber dragon targets. In general, it's just a lot of removal spells and a lot of monsters that replace themselves. The gadgets on summon add a different colored gadget to hand. Cyber Phoenix on death adds a card from your deck to your hand. It's just straight up good. I'll walk you through the individual card choices. We're starting with Breaker the Magical Warrior and Kiron the Mage. These are functionally the same card, except Breaker is limited and Kiron is terrible. We've got three copies of Cyber Dragon. This card needs no introduction by this point. Uh, most people were playing three in the decks that we found for uh, the January 2007 format, so uh, conventional knowledge had circulated around them actually being worth maxing out on. Two Cyber Phoenix. This card prevents spell trap effects that target machine monsters you control. This card's important for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, Firstly, it cycles on death, and secondly, enemy controller is absolutely everywhere this format. There are a lot of ways to stop reactive traps from ever hitting their reaction point, but enemy controller is super chainable, and as a result, things that prevent enemy controller from going off are very good. We've got three green gadget, three red gadget, three yellow gadget, two snipe hunter with all that extra material you're adding to your hand. You've got to figure out some way to translate it into advantage, and this is a great one. Magician of Faith, of course, and Exiled Force, two very powerful limited monsters. For spells run confiscation, obviously. Two enemy controller, Fissure, I was shocked to see, but it is kind of the best remaining removal spell. Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, Last Will, and I think this is the first time we are seeing Last Will in either of our deck lists. This is a stinker of a card to resolve. Limiter Removal, Mystical Space Typhoon, Nobleman of Crossout, Overload Fusion, Rush Recklessly. This is odd, but the thing with the gadgets is you want them to trade with your opponent's monsters. They don't have a ton of attack, so if you normal summon a gadget, your opponent walks in with, like, say, a spent breaker and you activate rush recklessly, you can very easily walk away with the game just by the tempo advantage you gain from keeping two gadgets on the field for a single turn. We've got three smashing ground as well as two bottomless trap hole, a mirror force, a ring of destruction, three sakuretsu armor, a torrential tribute, and ultimate offering. This is a great way to summon nine monsters in one turn using the gadgets. In the side deck, we've got a copy of brain control, another Kiron the mage. This will likely come in depending on what Alex is playing. Death wombat is a way to get around cheeky burn strategies. Future fusion is here for chimera tech nonsense. Lightning Vortex is extremely funny, but maybe not too good. Mobius the Frost Monarch is great in control matchups. Overload Fusion is great to... Chimera Tech out your opponent. Royal Oppression is very good against those Chimera Tech decks, as is System Down, and Trap Dust Shoot is pretty much good against anything, provided you're going first. So, super excited about this one. Very, 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 very hype to finally start summoning some gadgets. You know, you guys can't blame me if I 2-0 Joseph in five minutes with this deck because uh, you guys wanted Chimera Tech and Chimera Tech, you know, if you're talking about Saki, this deck looks incredibly Saki, which means it's right up my alley, which means the ball is in my court. But we'll have to see what Joseph picks. This is, however, the deck we are bringing to today's duel. This is a top eight list from SJC Orlando, which took place in January of 2007. I believe three of the top eight lists actually looked almost identical to this with very small changes. There was one list playing Ancient Gear Drill, which allowed you to set cards like Overload Fusion immediately from the deck to just get your win condition a lot quicker. That was kind of cute, but I preferred to play the more streamlined deck that's playing just better cards overall, because I believe that's going to give you a much more overall consistent deck, which means you're not going to see yourself stumble here and there because you're drawing cards that are just relatively inconsistent. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. One Breaker, it's not a machine, but it's one of the best cards in the game, so we are playing it. Three copies of Cyber Dragon, because Over Dragon does require Cyber Dragon, so so it really is no surprise that this is here. Three copies of Cyber Phoenix. Not only does this protect our other machines potentially, but it also just draws us a card if it's sent to the graveyard by battle. Three Dekoichi just draws us a card on flip. And again, these are all machines, so they all work in tandem with each other. One Jinzo. Guess what? Jinzo's also a machine, so that works out quite well, but also shuts down the opponent's trap, so that way we can ensure we get in with Chimera Tech. One Magician of Faith, one Morphing Jar, and one Spell Canceller as well. This is good for being able to shut off any sort of way that Joseph might be able to stop us, such as any 
enemy controller, which we're also playing three of. Three copies of UFO Turtle. UFO Turtle's cool because it cycles into Cyber Phoenix. This is effectively the Fire Mystic Tomato, if you've never seen this before. So it can trade down into more copies of Tomato and ultimately end on a Cyber Phoenix if we're trying to protect ourselves. Just good for deck thinning, but keeping board presence as well. And that does it for the monsters. For the spells, one card destruction just to get us to our main combo pieces and win conditions, such as two copies of Dimension Fusion. I don't know how this card's still legal. This card is just as crazy as Return, but in this deck, it's even better because guess what? Overload Fusion is almost effectively like your Bazoo or any of your other cards that would be banishing. So you go ahead and overload, get your Chimera Tech, Dimension Fusion, everything back, and you're probably just going to win the game from there. Three copies of Enemy Controller. Enemy Controller is nice because it allows us to actually stop getting OTK'd if Joseph is on Chimera Tech himself. It's not a trap, so it doesn't lose to Jinzo. It does lose to Spell Canceller, but it's a very versatile card, similar in line to something like that of Book of Moon. And so I can see why that is in here. It's also good for being able to just take our opponent's Chimera Tech and being able to win that way as well. That's also very funny. Future Fusion is limited, but honestly, it's perfectly fine because Future Fusion is one of the main win conditions of this deck as well. Two copies of Trunade to pair with the Heavy Storm. Graceful Charities in here as well as Limiter Removal. Just Limiter Removal, another alternate win condition because guess what? Most of our deck is machines. Hell, I think UFO Turtle's also a machine, which is weird, but hey, if you want to make a 2800 attack turtle, that's perfectly fine. We also have the three Overload Fusion as our primary win condition, a Premature Burial, and a Swords of Revealing Light to stall for time. For the traps, it's just all gas. It's three Jar of Greed, two Reckless Greed, and a copy of Mirror Force. We're just trying to draw into these combo pieces as quick as humanly possible, so we are not messing around. And then the Mirror Force is just to have, I guess, some bit of protection, but we are just trying to turbo into this as quickly as possible, so it does make sense. The extra deck is primarily just Chimera Tech Over Dragon. We are playing End and Twin, but we're pretty much never going to summon them, let's be perfectly honest. I also threw these other cards in here just because I want the extra deck to be full. And then the side deck, three copies of Death Wombat. This is if Joseph were to be playing Burn, but we didn't have it on the wheel. This was just commonly side deck at the time because we did just come out of Chain Burn being a relevant deck when Stein was still around. Three copies of Snipe Hunter, just a great overall card. This deck's very good at keeping advantage from the Cyber Phoenixes and the Decoichis, as well as the Jars and the Recklesses. So Snipe Hunter could be good to clear the way to go in for an Overload Fusion, let's say. We have for the Traps, Gravity Bind, Ring, Triple Royal Decree, a Torrential, and Triple Waboku in case we are in the Mirror Match and are really trying to do everything Everything possible to not die to over dragon. So you guys wanted over dragon. So we are going to deliver ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, the people wanted this format for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why. I think they just want to see someone get sacked because it's been uh, quite some time. Actually, I don't know. We had two two O's the last two episodes. So that was pretty bad. But this is going to be an interesting one. I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. Uh, I am also excited. I, I do have to ask the question. Simo, you are a no-skill, idiotic, <laughs> useless player. Have you once again rolled Monarch to steamroll we me with Mobius? Are we seeing Zayborg again? I don't know. You'll have to see what happens. I'm curious, though, because we had a very small wheel, and typically when the wheels are small, we're very likely to have mirror matches. So, uh... This could be interesting, depending on the way things uh, played out, but I'm ready to get into it, buddy. I don't know about you. Oh, I'm ready as well. I was born ready. Well, we do have to shout out our patrons, so shout outs to Noah Kier, and thank you so much for the support over on Patreon. And uh, Joseph, I'm sorry to break it to the audience, but because I moved, I don't know where my tripod is for oh, the dice no. cam. Oh, no. You, you, oh, you missed the dice cam. Oh, yeah. well, I guess there's nothing to be done. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> this is just going to confirm one and for all if i win this rock paper scissors because i don't even have a die because like the die was part of my deck box so mm -hmm. can you for once not automatically pick paper gang or at least give me the impression you're not going to pick paper gang don't because worry. uh I yeah have, I, I did I, not I, automatically pick paper <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is like, this is horrible. I'm trying to find some random way to decide and I don't have anything near me. So I'm just going to pick this. You... I, I came to a consensus, you know, I thought long and hard about it, and I said, you know what, actually, the optimal pick here, it's gotta be paper. <laughs> okay, and you know what, I thought the third one, the second one as well should probably be paper. Give me a sec on the third one, though. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go with this. <laughs> all right, okay, all right, this is going well. Uh, I think it is, it is time for me to get off paper. Yeah, In that's hell, what I thought. I'll get yeah. off paper when I'm dead. <laughs> 
Oh my god! Enjoy when your we, your first. When are we making the paper gang shirt? That's the question. <laughs> oh god, that that's gotta be the most pathetic piece of merchandise possible. Yeah, I know who would pay for something like that. Ooh, <laughs> this is interesting. All right, let's draw for turn. Good luck, by the way, buddy. Uh, you you might need it. We'll see. Let's fire off graceful charity to kick things off. Why is this card legal again? Oh my gosh. Um. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? This hand is stacked. Wow. I feel like whatever I discard, you're going to know what I'm playing. Yeah, there's which is... pretty much no way around it. A uh, small wheel, very little overlap between all yeah. of the decks. God, it's so good. Okay, for my graceful charity discards, it's it's a hard one. I am going to get rid of limiter removal. Shit! This will give it away. Oh no! And I'm gonna get rid of a jar of greed. Oh, I knew you would be playing this. I knew you would be playing this. <laughs> Simo missing out on an opportunity to sack me again? Not likely. It's too easy. It's too oh. easy. All right, all right. I mean, I, I I guess I have to go for it because I have the opportunity to fire off future fusion. <laughs> Oh, you just drew this shit? Yeah. Oh, you just drew Future Fusion? Well, la yeah. di da I think I'm pretty safe, because as anyone who can read can see, you're not able to send anything to the graveyard until your next standby phase. Is that right? Uh, no, because no. this card's been eroded, and uh, we get to send the cards immediately. So, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. So for those of you that don't know, Future Fusion is a really unbelievably powerful card that I think was finally banned because of Dragon Ruler format, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was actually Chaos Dragons actually banned it first, funny enough. <laughs> Hilarious. Whatever it was, it was dragon related. Uh, by revealing a five-headed dragon in your extra deck, you could send five dragons to the grave, which is crazy. Here, we're going to send 200 machines. Now, I, I, I don't know how deep I want to go with this because obviously because of chimera tech overload dragon i'm able to just go nuts but i do i want to go nuts like i don't know because <laughs> i also have to think like to, to, i need to read over dragon it has that stupid downside too send all their cards stupid you the downside oh darn you can't just kill me in one hit you have to actually <laughs> exercise your brain muscles unfortunate oh, I'm so isn't sorry. it okay how how big of a chimera tech do we need to win the game i don't know probably a pretty big one so let's go ahead and dump. All right, let's go crazy. Let's get rid of a UFO yes. turtle. Let's get rid of a UFO turtle. Let's get rid of a UFO turtle. Let's get rid of a cyber dragon. Let's get rid of a cyber dragon. Uh, let's get rid of... I actually kind of want to keep these. Let's go ahead and get rid of a Jinzo because that also happens to be a machine. That's pretty convenient. Let's get rid of a cyber phoenix, I guess. What do I want to draw is the question. Yeah, I'm good here. I'll stop there. All right, <laughs> so this is a... A nine material, an eight material uh, monster. Correct. This will be an eight material over dragon in two turns. So I will set three cards and pass it to you. Anything in standby? Nope. Kill me if you can. This is your only chance. All right. Main one, I'm going to go for confiscation. Okay. Uh, that that's pretty good. Hand. You are going to get the overload out of my hand, but there's also something else you need to worry about. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Oh, if it wasn't Mobius, it was always going to be this. This card has just been the bane of my existence. All right, well, I can't not take the Overload Fusion. Correct, because you just immediately lose the game in that case. All right, uh, I am going to Normal Summon a Red Gadget. Okay, so you're on Gadgets, I'm assuming. I mean, I guess Gadget Monarch could be a thing, but I'm pretty sure the list we were looking at, Gadget was Gadget. And Red Gadget will get a Green Gadget to hand. This is so silly. I'm out here adding a single card to my hand. You're out here uh, about to summon a 10,000 attack point monster. Sir, Red Gadget gets Yellow Gadget before the comments roast you. Oh, thank you. You've saved yeah. me an inevitable roasting. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Fun fact, the uh, the color of the background of the gadget is what color gets it. So Yellow Gadget has a little red aura and the Red Gadget has a little green aura. Oh, I thought it was the opposite direction. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that see that would have been helpful. I'm going to go to battle phase, I guess. Let's get in for 13 if you'll allow I will it. take the 13. That's fine. Are you sure? What what if uh what if I triple What do you get a removal? fucking limiter removal? Your red gadget be my guest. All right, I'm going to set two cards and you are good to go. Okay. 
I will draw for turn. That's fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted. All right, turn one on future fusion. Yeah. All right, I'm going to activate Jar of Greed. That's fine. I'm just going to set a card, and I'm going to pass the turn. Go ahead. I'll draw for turn. Oh, that's an interesting one. Hmm. All right, so what would you have set? Uh, I see you have UFO turtles in your deck, but you've got none of them left. Could be a second copy of a Cyber Phoenix. Like, maybe that's something you want. Either way, this is rough, rough. Cyber Phoenix has 1,600 defense, too. Gosh, that's ridiculous. Is it 16? I thought it was 14. Oh, God, it is 16. Wow, none of your gadgets can hit over it. What's the punish here if I just walk into it? If it's a moth, you can get back the overload fusion. You can get back the limiter removal. That is a big enough punish that I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to normal summon an exiled force. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. I will take that sucker down. It was good you did. It was the moth. Thank the Lord. All right, let's go to the battle phase and do another 13. I'll take it. Uh, main two, I will set a card. Here we go, buddy. <laughs> it's it's going to be interesting. All right, I will draw. <laughs> Standby phase. Does future fusion resolve? <laughs> I have no response. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring out the boy. It is, in fact, Chimera Tech Overdragon with uh, 8,800 attack. Oh, no, it's eight material, right? So mm -hmm. it's 70, wait, eight times eight, 6,400 attack. Now, Chimera Tech has a uh, mandatory effect where if it's fusion summon, I must send all their cards I control to the graveyard. However, I'm going to chain Reckless Greed to that and draw a few more cards if you'll allow me. Well, there's not much I could do about it. Go <laughs> ahead, buddy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm thinking if there's anything else I want to do here. Uh, I don't think there is. My other card was an enemy controller, so... And that Overdragon will go to the grave as well, right? Because uh... the future Future Fusion left the field. Oh, is that how this works? Damn, this deck oh, yeah. sucks. No, this deck is terrible. <laughs> All of the comments are like, you have to play Overdragon. You have to play Overdragon. This was a deck that required you to open Future Fusion Overload and lose nothing. Ah, huh. well, that sucks. All right, well, that dies then. <laughs> <laughs> now, you did draw eight cards, so I wouldn't be shocked if you had an overload. I mean, yeah, that'd be ideal in this case, but unfortunately, it's not looking too pretty. My kingdom for an overload fusion. How much we can really do about that? I'll be in main one here, and uh, similar to our last turn, I will just set, and I will set, and I will pass it over. I'll draw for turn. Well, I'm less frightened of Magician of Faith now. I'm going to normal summon a yellow gadget. That's fine. Get your green. I will. And then I will proceed to the battle phase. Uh, red gadget in. Joke's on you, idiot. Get over my cyber phoenix. Wow. <laughs> if you insist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this deck's playing bad cards, buddy. All right. Woo! Well, you got over the Cyber Phoenix. I do get to draw a card, though, so I appreciate you it. You do. And I'll get in for 12 if you allow it. Yeah, I'll take it. Second main, I'm going to set one card. You're good to go. Overload fusion? Oh, uh, uh, under Reckless Greed, I certainly hope oh, not. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry, Reckless. Turn one Reckless. Turn one Reckless. Terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Well, I guess I'll just set a card and uh, hope for the best. Go ahead. This is what, 25? Correct. If I normal the green gadget and you torrential me, wow. I see why people played this deck. It doesn't matter at all. I'm going to normal matter. summon a green gadget. Sure. All right, give me my red. Okay. Combat. Okay. Wow. Do you have the mirror force? Oh, that is really painful. Oh, that's rough. All right. You have three back row. Everything. Oh, okay. Wow, I did not expect that to go through. I mean, it's not even really a three for one. It's kind of a one for one. <laughs> Kind of, yeah, because since that one gadget got all the other gadgets. Uh, all right, so this is my second turn on Reckless. Yep. Okay, so now Reckless is done. Don't know what we're doing here. I think we're just passing. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking where this is going. Uh, oh, that's a sweet draw. Holy guacamole. I'm going to normal summon Chiron the Mage. Oh, okay. Sure, this card's sure. This terrible. Just an awful <laughs> card that people unironically played. Uh, once per turn, I can discard a spell, then target a spell trap you control, destroy that target. Really bad in previous sets because all the spells were good. But now I have Smashing Ground in my deck. So I will be targeting your set card. All right. It was a Dimension Fusion. Oh, 
thank the Lord I don't have to worry about that. And direct for 18. Take the 18. You know, it's just a bad breaker, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, right. Probably the worst possible breaker, but one of them's limited and one of them's a three. Pretty much. We'll draw. I will fire off Heavy Storm here. Let's clear the way. Yo, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that is so painful. Oh, I had everything. Uh, thinking. This is so stupid, but it actually does prevent you from doing some stuff. I'm going to fire off Ring targeting my Chiron. <laughs> Yeah, that works. All right, we both take 18. And everything else is fine. All right, so it was Econ and Torrential. All right, I will set a card. I know you have a gadget in hand. You have red, and I don't know your other card. Yeah, we'll set another. Go ahead. I'll draw for turn. Oh, that's a strange one. Uh, I'm going to special summon Cyber Dragon. Yeah, that's good. I am going to normal summon Red Gadget. Sure. Go grab green. It's yellow. God, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> and I'll go to combat. Sure. Uh, Sidra into the set card. It's a Decoichi. I don't know if it's going to be any good. And red direct. Yeah, you got it. Woo! The rest of my hand was Dimension Fusion True Nade, and I drew into an Econ that was doing absolutely nothing. Miserable. Oh, yeah. Man, Joseph, this deck is uh, it's not that great. How did this deck get four of the top eight at this Shonen Jump? I guess to be fair, like, you know, Confiscation kind of did me in on that one and uh, I had really no follow-up. I'm kind of regretting not dumping every machine out of my deck because if I did, maybe I'd have a higher likelihood of drawing into the other Overload Fusions. But yeah, it just didn't happen that way. I guess uh, you're obviously the better player. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. No, um, this deck is, everyone envisions it as this magical one card OTK. In reality, you do have to draw Overload Fusion. And we were talking about it earlier. There is a version that played Ancient Gear Drill to find it, yes. which you are not on, I don't believe. Uh, but boy, would that have been funny. In all fairness, the reason I'm not on the Ancient Gear Drill version is because I figured if you spun this, you would have picked that. So I tried to avoid a mirror match in that way. So well, I <laughs> and here we find ourselves now. Good luck, buddy. Uh, wow, this hand actually kind of blows. I'm just going to set one and pass. All right, I will draw. That's a strange one. Uh, I'm going to normal summon a green gadget if you're cool with it. All right, grab the correct color. All right, uh, this one I won't screw up. I am now the gadget master. You can call me Inspector Gadget, a joke that I already made in the prelude to this episode. Let's call get you for 14. Robbie Cole would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Daddy Robbie, bless me from uh, upon high. I will set two cards and you are good to go. All right. End phase, I'll fire off Decree. Wow, that sucks. Why would you be playing Decree in this deck? Why wouldn't I be playing Decree? It's so good. I'll go to That's main true. one. Let's yep. fire off a Cyber Dragon to kick things off. Sounds good. And I'll go ahead and bring out a UFO turtle as well. Wow, is this uh, Chimera Tech Beats? Uh, I mean, it's convenient that your green gadget has the exact same attack here. So if you want to rush recklessly, this be my guest. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm actually fine. All right, so we'll trade here. I will trigger my turtle. Mm -hmm. This may be the only time UFO turtle is like competitively viable in any degree. Now, I kind of want to get another turtle. You searched red gadget. If I get Cyber Phoenix, you can just hit over that. So it's not super pretty. Pretty. Then again, I could draw a card. Turtle's vulnerable to some things too, I guess. They all kind of just like cycle for each other. Yeah, I'll get another turtle. I think that's okay. Sure. Hit for 14. Mm -hmm. And 21. Uh, this is pretty bad, but I'm going to enemy controller to change this guy to defense position. You can see why. Just to stave off a little bit of the damage. I'll go main two. And I think that's really all I'm going to do. So I'll just pass it on over. All right, I'll draw for turn. Wow, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to normal summon a Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Yeah, that's good. We'll go to combat. I'm going to walk over your Cyber Dragon. Yep. And then second main, let's go ahead and break that Royal Decree. This is why Breaker was limited, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good card. <laughs> All right, I'll draw. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, let's start by firing off a giant True Nade. I don't know if I'd call it interesting. Sure. All right, True Nade resolves. And uh, let's follow it up with a Future Fusion. Yeah. We're getting this in one way or another, Joseph. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, this time uh, you're sending the Decoichis, too. Oh, yeah. We're just going to get everything out of the deck this time. Uh, I, I have a UFO turtle. Maybe I won't get rid of everything. Everything I, I but kind of, one UFO target. Everything but, like, targets for UFO turtle, maybe. I think that would just be funnier. Yeah, we'll just go like this. And that's pretty much most of my deck so we'll we'll go ahead and go there so that was a seven material chimera tech that uh -huh. i just went for and uh let's go ahead and overload into an 
other one. So you just drew this one of? You just, no, uh, I just drew, drew the future fusion. Yes, I did just draw. Yeah, the all right. Fusion. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twice, twice in two games. Twice in two games. Well, don't know what I'm supposed to do about a true nade future fusion overload, but yeah, go ahead, buddy. Send Isn't it great? It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. wonderful. I love it. So we're gonna get rid of all these. When I do summon the over dragon, I am going to lose some stuff on the field, but that is fine. So let's get rid of this and just doing some math here. Well, it's not really gonna matter because I'm gonna lose everything anyway. So uh, this is how many? This is six banished at this point. Yep. So that would be 30 or uh, excuse me, 4,800 on this card. All right. So we'll go with this. Bring out the boy. <sighs> I lose my field, so it's a. Uh, I, I banished six, so I'll just put this at six, just so we know. Okay. Let's go ahead and go for premature burial next. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's fine. And I guess I'll just bring back a cyber dragon. I could go for cyber phoenix. I don't think you have anything just random that like targets me, so whatever. I'll just bring this back, and uh, we'll go to battle phase. Yeah. I will attack with the over dragon. So this is gonna be thirty-two. Damage step. No, you fucking do not! <laughs> no! You, dude, you're kidding me! Your, your hand, let me just get this straight. Your hand was Future Fusion, Overload, Premature, Limiter, True Nade? Yes, sir! Game oh three! Oh my god. Ah. Uh... <laughs>What was I supposed to do? How could I have possibly stopped that? What on earth was I supposed to do? That was the most, listen, that was the most bullshit I have ever <laughs> seen in my long history of playing Yu-Gi-Oh for you to open those five exact cards. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Three of those cards were limited. I, I am, I'm going to have an aneurysm. You just have to be good at the game, Joseph. I'm I guess sorry. I do. Like, what, what? I guess I do. I, I get, you know what else I have to do? I have to go first, motherfucker. Let's see if you That's can true. beat me when I fire <laughs> I, off going the first against Going first against the Chimera Tech deck, I don't know if that's necessarily a good idea. Oh, and guess what, idiot? It's about to get really good. Let's fire off the graceful charity. That's, okay, that's a pretty good start. You better find that confiscation. God damn it. All right, I'm gonna send Snipe Hunter Last Will. Okay. I'm gonna normal summon yellow gadget, grab a green gadget. All right, you know your gadgets now, congratulations. And if, I mean, if you, if you have it, you have it. And I will be very upset. Please? No, okay. no dust shoot. No dust shoot, okay, okay. Dust shoot wouldn't even be able to send back the cards in question here, so it wouldn't even matter. All right, how do we want to play this? I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon breaker. That's fine. Get the counter. I'll pop the back row. Damn, it was royal oppression. Ooh, okay. It's a uh, spicy one. your yellow. It's a yep. spicy one. I'll take 400 here. Thank God I'm not dead. Main two. I'm gonna set a couple. Your uh, yellow gadget should be in the graveyard, sir, and I will pass the turn. All right. Main one okay? Main one's fine. I'm gonna special a Sidra. Sure. I'm gonna normal a breaker. Ooh, one of your own. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna break this one. Thinking about what I wanna do about it. I'm gonna chain enemy controller. I think I just put the Sidra to defense, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Sure. Uh, I will go to combat. I'm still gonna go for it. Okay, so we'll crash unless you have rush. I do not. Nope, uh, I'm gonna no rush. set one. You are good. Okay, I'll flip up decree. Boy, you're killing me. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. How good is it though? Uh, I know you have at least a green gadget. Okay, I'm just going to set one and pass it over. That's odd. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. Um, hmm. well, I guess I'll normal summon a green gadget. Sure. Go ahead and get a red gadget. Uh, I'm gonna switch my Sidra to attack. Yep. I'm gonna attack into your Dekoichi. It is a Dekoichi. Yep. And then I will get in for 14. Sounds good. Uh, I will pass turn. We'll draw. Interesting. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. All right, after a long deliberation, I'm going to do something that I really don't like. I'm going to set a card. Yeah. I'm gonna fire off card destruction. Um. Well, it's not like I can do anything about that. That is interesting that you're even playing it, sure. Uh, two gadgets, you get the smashing and a Sidra. Oh, thank God the limiter removal's gone. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> pretty good. That's 
That's a strange one. My hand was pretty loaded, and I was really hoping that card destruction could maybe get me there. I don't know if I regret that, but I did get the gadgets out of your hand, but you probably just drew into more, let's be honest. I guess on the plus side, if you drew into a red gadget, you can't search anything. Broken. Well, I think I will just... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna normal summon UFO turtle. Uh, no response, yeah. Crash into the gadget. That's fine. Okay. Trigger the turtle. Yep. Let's grab ourselves another turtle. That's okay. And I think with that, I will just pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. I see what's going on here. I see what's happening here. Do you? Yeah, so you have set an overload fusion before you card destruction. That's the only card that you would want to uh, keep. Uh, you're going to fill up your graveyard with UFO turtles so that when you draw your cyber dragon, you win the entire game. That could be what I'm thinking. That could be what you're thinking. It's going to be a little harder after I resolve system down. Yeah, that's a card. Okay. Beep boop, motherfucker. Eat my system down. Oh, God. I wish this card was a quick play. Uh, I'll take the three. Obviously, that's not game destroying. It's not, but it's pretty good. You were right. I did draw a green gadget. I'll use that to get a red gadget. And I'm trying to put you in a position where you can't dimension fusion me for everything I own. So we'll try and get in for as much as possible here. Sure. So 35. All right. So now if you dimension fusion, you go to 11, you have to immediately kill my side or you're dead. I will set one card and you are good. Draw. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm going to set a monster mm -hmm. and activate swords of revealing light. Yo, that is so shit. Why would you play that card? <laughs> oh my god. I, they played it. You gotta buy time where you can. <laughs> it's pretty good here for sure. Uh, I am gonna set one and pass the turn. Turn one on swords. Bring back flashbacks of like the first episodes, isn't it? Mm, it is. Uh, it's like fine. I will set a card and pass. I would kill for a heavy. No. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna change everything but my Sidra to defense, then I'll pass it back to you. Turn two on swords. That's, uh, you know, slowly but surely. I'll set a new monster and I'll pass. Okay. Uh, you're, you're good to go again, buddy. Okay, so swords has expired. I did not think we were gonna make all three turns of this, but you know what? We get there, we get there. Here's where you flip Let's, them off and do it again. I'm gonna flip it to Koichi first. Yep. Get a draw. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I know you have a red in your hand. I think that's the only thing I really know. What would you set in this deck? I guess you could have set the gadget to maybe like not die. All right. It isn't pretty, but I think I have to do this because honestly, I don't know how else this is going to play out, but I'm going to fire off Dimension Fusion. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to bring out a bunch of idiots here. Bring out the turtles, bring out the Dekoichi. Yep. And then I think I'm going to, I just leave Dekoichi there. That's like a lot. Rush recklessly, I think would actually kill me there. I'm going to sack my Dekoichi for a cyber drag. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go to battle. I'm just going to hit into your green gadget. That's fine. Yeah. And then main two, I will just pass it on over. Go ahead. Oh, this is a hard one. Holy guacamole. You are... Mm. I can't go for overload because Chimera Tech sends my whole field and I couldn't make a big enough one that like I win because as soon as I would make it, Decree goes to grave and all your traps are back online. So like, I feel like with 1100 life points, the best play here is to just like wall up and just hope I can like get there at some point. Uh, I'm going to flip summon Phoenix. Sure. I'm going to normal summon red gadget. Sounds good. Battle phase. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go red gadget into the set card is Phoenix. Why wouldn't you have flipped up Phoenix to cycle? Because you're not really into it. How many more machines do you have? You've got at least one remaining Dekoichi. You've got at least one remaining UFO turtle. You've got two cyber dragons somewhere. Hmm. So I think there's not very many safe uh, attacks here. Let me do some math. We'll go Phoenix into this. Okay. We'll go Sidra into the set card. Which was a Phoenix, so I'll get to draw. Sure. Mm, overload is just taunting me. We'll go red into a turtle. Okay, trigger turtle. Yep. I will grab a Phoenix. Sure. We'll go to second main here. Okay. And I'll fissure. Uh, okay, fissure is negated by Cyber Phoenix. Uh, this card does not target. 
Oh, it doesn't. Okay, that will take care of the phoenix. You got it. That'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> All right. Please. You're good to go. Oh, that's that's very fitting. Very fitting. Four back row. What an absolute monster. All right. Well, I suppose I will set another card and set another card and pass it over. Draw for turn. Oh, another weird one. Uh, so you have one more Phoenix remaining. You have one more Turtle remaining. I am going to go to... Uh, mm, ah, I think. Mm. I'm a normal yellow gadget. Okay. Battle phase. Sure. Red into turtle. Uh, sure. Thinking Ooh. on effect here. Let me see if I have the third green gadget. I don't think this was playing it. It they is. They were usually playing two of each. It what is? What the hell? Why are you playing three? Oh. All right, sure. Maybe because that has 1,400 attack. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Uh, thinking here. Because the problem is, depending on what I get, I could potentially be setting myself up to get killed. That rush recklessly actually is scaring me quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, getting something here uh, does put you dead to rush. Uh, if you do that, yeah, I'm I'm gonna not search. That's fine. Okay. Um, the set card is either a Phoenix or a Dakoichi. Dakoichi has a thousand. Phoenix has sixteen. Correct. Uh, well, let's try with yellow here. It is a Phoenix. You're gonna take four. Sure. I'll get it with Cyber. Okay. I'll draw a Phoenix. And then I will Econ try to take your Cyber. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. That's Holy do it. guacamole. What Got a it. catastrophic game. Yep. Oh, God. I had the only other two traps. It was an overload set, yep. but again, I imagine any of, well, uh, Econ alone would have that's stopped Chimera Tech. That's why I saved the Econ forever. <laughs> yeah. What were these? What were these? Uh, crazy stuff. It was Sack, Dust Shoot, Torrential. Right. It's all things that would have stopped Chimera Tech anyway. So it's no, like, you it wouldn't right have been. right to play it the way you did, but it still yeah. is painful. Yeah. I had a second overload. I drew the moth for turn. I should have oh. attacked into your red gadget here just to at least clear a monster. I still think you could have killed me that turn, but I mean, it's it's whatever. If I wanted uh, to play it safer, I could have just attacked the set with Sidra, yeah. Right. I also don't know why I wasn't sending Spell Canceler off of uh, <laughs> the future it fusions. It is. Yeah, well, this turn, this game, I didn't actually uh, future fusion, but I think I was actually missing it in the other games because I forgot it was in the deck. I knew Jinzo was, but this game, I didn't draw future fusion, and guess what? That, uh, that didn't pan out too well all oh i needed God. was a true nade or a heavy storm and i won the game that's I all i needed i can't believe we went through this much of the deck and you didn't find a true nade you're on three right it's i think it's actually two and a heavy which is kind sure. of a weird choice but i mean it's fine yeah and to be fair decree checks a lot of things but i think that's why so many people during this time were on econ is because econ actually is a non-trap way to like deal with over dragon that doesn't right. lose to decree uh, exactly. or jinzo for that matter but i think that's also why they played spell canceler however it does lose to cyber phoenix so if you happen to go over dragon and then you normal summon cyber phoenix then like your window of opportunity is like lost at that point yeah so uh, cyber phoenix i i thought was just like an okay cycler it is so important in matchups like this my god yeah, yeah being able to negate econ smashing grounds like there's so many cards that just target and the fact that cyber phoenix can just negate them just by being on the field and it cycles you a card it's just it's free it's so good oh my god this was a clencher of a game i am yeah i i mean you can't see this because i'm a uh, waist up but uh my butthole has uh, <laughs> become so compact there's a small black hole under my chair it is I think, oh my gosh I think, I think the youtube algorithm's also happy we can't see that either but oh, damn yeah, sure. Woo, wow. this was a set i'm happy we at least got the over dragon thing off once but i can't believe that draw of yours my god that was insane that was insane yeah th this yeah. hand though my opener wasn't like too spectacular and i'm running i'm wondering in retrospect so when i did that card destruction i got rid of a limiter an econ and a premature and one play i had that was really funny but really terrible was i could have uh prematured a monster econ stolen your cyber dragon and then overload fusioned with your cyber dragon that's so <laughs> but funny again like i lose my decree and that's like the biggest downside of this stupid idiot is the fact that it's just you're, you lose your whole field when that happens. Yeah. If you don't have Storm or True Nade specifically, the, or if your opponent just has zero back row, then this card is like actually not that great, which which is why we actually talked about the Ancient Gear Drill version in side decking, because it's like you can get to the card when you need to get to it, or uh, at the very least, you can get the Future Fusion a lot faster. And uh, to be fair, maybe that's why the deck took first place at that show and jump, because, you know, I was kind of digging for Future Fusion and it just uh, just was not how, there it is, but I already shuffled both. Yeah, no, um, 
um, you get a sense, uh, seeing this deck play without Future Fusion, that like, oh god, this is not a consistent strategy if you can't find Future Fusion. And um, when you can, it's, it just feels unbeatable because all of the peripheral tools, all of the Overload Fusion, Premature Burial, Limiter Removal, the really powerful limited one-ofs, all of them win the game immediately, provided you found Future Fusion. But if you can't, uh, I don't know. The, um, the Ancient Gear Drill version is super hilarious. Uh, I think uh, my favorite part of that deck is that it was playing three Ancient Gear 1300 attack point monster and three Ancient Gear with a yep. period. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't, I, this is a card I didn't know existed, a 500 attack monster, because they just didn't have anything else, but it was worth it if you were able to send all of your deck to the graveyard with a future fusion. But that's the trade-off though, right? Because then if you don't get to the drill or the future fusion, then you're playing six absolutely miserably bad cards that oh, also yeah. need you to use your normal summon and get you to your combo piece. And so I figured this was the better version because at least you're playing just all of the other cards as a standalone deck are gonna do something. Thing. And then you just are trying to aim for this overload fusion, just go out with a bang sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, we saw in this game three here, and to be fair, maybe I should have cited out this Mirror Force and Torrential with Decree in, but I mean, I, I wanted some protection because the biggest issue with gadgets is that they just keep coming. And this is why gadgets were so strong right out of the gate, because for not just this deck specifically, you just build board presence and it's free. Sakuretsus or minuses, like every single removal piece is a minus, unless it generally can just get you more like a two for one, like a mirror force like a torrential but even if i do that you just have another gadget as a follow-up and it just keeps going so right. even then sometimes it's not even enough these are just like the biggest difference makers out of all of them so that's why i decided to keep them in but that's why people start to experiment with gadget monarch later because guess what it's free everything's free it eats up your normal summon but like that's it it's so good yeah no this is uh chris evans uh deck from uh sj orlando uh this was before of course he was cast uh in avengers and it was impressive to me that this deck plays 45 cards. And I was like, why is this deck playing 45 cards? It's because you don't want to draw the gadgets. You want to draw exactly one and it draws you six cards. And yep. in our games, the first and second game, of course, were different because you were able to resolve future fusion and go down to like 10 cards in deck. But in game three, there was a point where I was looking at our deck sizes and I was at 27 and you were at 28. And I was just like, I started this game five cards down on Simo. And like, I've just equalized because I've normal summoned a 1400 attack point monster three turns in a row. And it's it's really just impressive what that chip damage means and uh, how it translates into advantage. And uh, I, while at first I wasn't buying cards like Limiter Removal and Rush Recklessly in this deck, I have come around, you know? Uh, if your gadget ever wins combat, you just win the game because you've defeated their normal summon, you normal summon on your next turn, that's like 4,800 points of damage. And they're also well statted too. Like they're not bad. They're not they're like not 200 enough. attack. Like th these can actually hit through Dekoichi and like a, a reasonable amount of small cards. So mm -hmm. overall, they're just great. And uh, let's be honest, this is not the last time we're going to be seeing the gadgets in this oh, no. series in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, if you all thought the Monarchs were uh, really frustrating, get excited because uh, the gadgets stick around for a long time. They are a great tool for building resources now. They're a great tool for building resources in Z era. They're a great tool for building resources is uh, pretty much until the end of time and they are power crept by uh, just Konami printing cards that plus one on normal summon as a general mechanic. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys got your Chimera Tech shenanigans and I bet you it's not going anywhere Quit for the whining. next few episodes. <laughs> we do it to shout out our patrons though. It's Shadow1317, Tim Zero X3, Cameron Smith, Ika Iron Fang, Joshua Schley, Pony Stark, Michael Dente, Ole, Dan the Man Hoban, Mystic Walk, Part 2, Synchro Guy, Shotagonist, Sylvia Wilds, Dolly Wop, Dragon Lord, Jarvis Martin, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Emil Cohen, Inno Taisho, Thomas Nelson, and Jordan Coods, Calvin Purace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Iron Bladesman, Benjamin Fuller, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Damage Step, Kalut, Lumpy, Nehru, Celeste, Shane Reese, David Liu, Rockley325, Henry Roaming, Lane Rogers, Sky Rose, Angeoko, Brett Hyvie, and Drake Connick. Thank you all so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.